We thank God for bringing us together as one community of faith this afternoon. After a, a period of prayer and uh, waiting, thanks to technology, we were able to witness the simple but solemn declaration of the enrollment of John the 23rd and John Paul the Second among the saints of the Catholic Church. We thank the organizers of this uh, afternoon's event, the Smart Araneta Coliseum and the Foundation, the Jesuit Communication Foundation, the Archdiocese of Manila and the Diocese of Cubao, and all of you dear friends, thank you for coming to this uh, celebration of the Divine Mercy Sunday and the canonization of our two great saints. Don't feel bad if you're not in Rome. You know why? In 1981, Pope John Paul II came here to this Coliseum. Uh -huh. And so this is a living relic. So, halikan nyo ang... Hawakan nyo ang mga pader! You will not be able to do that in Rome, but you can do it now, here. Tignan nyo lang yung katabi nyo, baka hindi na, hindi nyo asawa yung hinahalikan nyo dyan sa, uh, sa tabi ninyo. Uh, but, but really, this is a, a blessed place. And on a personal note, even if I was not able to meet uh, Pope John the Twenty-Third, kasi naman po, I am relatively young. <laughs> but, he was the one who created, in 1961, the Diocese of Imus, to which I belonged, and I became a bishop of that diocese. So, uh, it was John the Twenty-Third, uh, more than 50 years ago, who had this vision, before Vatican II, of creating the dioceses of Imus in Cavite and Malolos in Bulacan. So thanks to Pope John the 23rd. And of course, John the 23rd opened what we call now the Second Vatican Council, the council that engaged the world with a dialogue the Catholic Church engaging the modern world in a sincere pastoral dialogue. And all of the orientations have been passed on to us thanks to Vatican II and the succeeding popes. Pope Paul VI, who completed Vatican II and who did the initial implementation, then Pope John Paul I, who uh, served for just a month, and then Pope John Paul II. So Pope John Paul II is really indebted to the tradition left by Pope John XXIII. So they are really connected. When Pope John Paul II was elected Pope, I was still a second-year theology seminarian. <laughs> when I was ordained a priest, he was still the Pope. In 1997, he appointed me to the International Theological Commission. And in 2001, he appointed me Bishop of the Diocese that was created by John XXIII, Bishop of Imus. So, talaga namang nag-iikot-ikot lang ang ating buhay na po. And it is good for all of us to come together and celebrate this mercy of God in the risen Lord as manifested in the lives and witness of the saints. Let me share a few points for our reflection. Introduction pa lang po yung sinabi ko. Ang andami na, pero introduction lang yun. The first point that I would like to share is 
the significance of a canonization, a declaration of the holiness, the sanctity, and the heroic virtues of ordinary men and women like us. I think some of you must have at least uh, seen pictures of John the Twenty-Third in the 1950s. Wag magsisinungaling yung iba. Alam ko adults na kayo noong 1958 when he was uh, elected Pope. Baka yung iba sa inyo may mga anak na noon eh noong 1958. So do not hide the fact na nabalitaan nyo na yan si John the Twenty-Third. No? But he was at that time a simple parish priest and then a servant of God uh, who served in the diplomatic corps and then was elected Pope and caused what they called the biggest revolution of the church in the 20th century by calling Vatican II. And now his sanctity is being presented as a model for all of us. And John, the, John Paul II, who has visited so many communities but both of them tied by one trait, sanctity, holiness. It is good to celebrate a canonization, to proclaim to the world that holiness is still real. Holiness is a gift of God to all of us, to ordinary men and women as ordinary as John the Twenty-Third and Carol Wojtyła. You and me, we are ordinary citizens of the world, ordinary baptized people. But all of us have been given the grace of holiness and we are called to live by holiness. For those of us who say, ang hirap magpakabanal. The canonization of people whom we know, people who are part of our generation, is a declaration. Holiness is real. It is given to all. You can be holy. Where I am standing right now, I look at you, there are many different faces, but I have to convince myself, these faces are faces of people that can be holy, called by God. Kahit ganyan ang mga muka natin. Tinatawag tayo ng Diyos maging banal. Tignan niyo mukha ko. Ang layo sa mukha nung dalawa, ano ko. Pero aminin niyo, nalalayo ba yung mukha ko sa mukha nung dalawa? Napakalayo. Ano? Pero kahit ganyan yung mukha yan, tinatawag yan sa kabananan. Lahat po tayo. We have to believe in that. Do not say sanctity is far off. Do not say holiness is just for a few. Do not say holiness is not relevant to our time. Do not say that. The celebration today is a loud declaration to the world. Holiness is real. Following Jesus is valuable. And if you follow Jesus, you can change the world. That is what we are declaring today. And all of us, especially the lay people, on this year of the laity, lay men and lay women, you are holy. And you are called to be holier still. Just like the two popes enter the world. Do not be afraid. Engage the world of finance, politics, mass media, the arts, sciences, technology, 
enter those world. Bring the values of Jesus. Do not be afraid. The mercy of God, the holiness of Jesus, these are all stronger than the sin of the world. For Jesus is risen. Maniwala po kayo. Yang katabi ninyo, sa maniwala kayo hindi, pwede santo o santa yan. Kahit yan yan yan. Baka hanggang palakpak lang tayo. Hindi, <laughs> ano, ha? So, do not be embarrassed to show you are holy. The young people who are here, tinatawagan ko kayo, mga kabataan. Huwag kayong mahihiya na ipakita sa inyong mga kaibigan that you are following Christ. Huwag kayong mahihiya kung ang damit ninyo hindi yung high class. Huwag kayong mahihiya kung ang damit ninyo ay mumurahin lang. Huwag kayong mahihiya na ang sapatos nyo hindi yung ano, uh, ano tawag doon, uh, signature mga kung ano-ano. Huwag kayong mahihiya dyan. At lalong huwag nyong ikahihiya na kayo ay sumusunod kay Jesus. Okay. Ayan po yung first point. Oh. The second is this. Holiness is a gift of God. No one among us can pretend that we can produce holiness. No one among us, even the most talented among us, cannot say, I can be holy by my own efforts. Hindi po. That's why it is significant that the canonization of the two popes happens on Divine Mercy Sunday. We are saved. We are restored to sanctity. Even when we are sinful and broken, thanks to the mercy of God. The resurrection of Jesus is the victory of God's love over the atrocities of the world. The resurrection of Jesus is the triumph of God's compassion over the sins of the world. The resurrection, Easter, is all about the victory of mercy. And Divine mercy works wonders. It can transform weak human beings, sinful human beings, into disciples, friends, and saints of Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, the risen Lord took the initiative of going to the disciples. Biruin ninyo, ho, si Jesus na ang nasaktan. Si Jesus na ang iniwanan ng mga alagad niya. Pero nung muli siyang nabuhay, siya pa ang nanguna na lumapit sa kanya, sa kanila. At ano ang kanyang bati? Peace be with you. The offer of mercy, the offer of wholeness. Sabi ko nga po, kung ako, si Kristo muling nabuhay, if I were the risen Lord, talagang hahanapin ko yung mga apostoles. Lalo na yung si Pedro, talagang hahanapin ko yan. Kahit nasaan siya, pupuntahan ko yan. At hindi ko sasabihin, peace be with you. Anong peace, peace be with you? Ay ka, Pedro! Lapit! Sabi mo sa akin, 
iaalay mo ang buhay mo para sa akin. Sabi mo, kaibigan mo ako. Tapos, sinabi mo sa mga tao, hindi mo ako kinala. Nasaan lang si Andres? Nasaan lang si Bartolome? Nasaan sila? Bakit niyo ako iniwan? Patas na tayo. Ako ay makapangyarihan. Gagamitin ko ang aking kapangyarihan para maghiganti sa inyo. Mabuti na lang, hindi ako si Kristo muling nabuhay. So, if I were, if I were the risen Lord, no one, even you, no one will be here. I will destroy you. It is my chance to get even. After all, I have power from God. <laughs> but the mercy of Jesus saved. It saved a Peter. It saved the disciples. The mercy of Jesus saves all of us. He offers peace, wholeness, we can start again. You have sinned, but I hope in you. I know there is some good in you. You can change. And with the mercy of God, sinners like Peter became proclaimers of the good news. What a change. What a change that compassion could accomplish. And as we look at John the 23rd, John Paul the second, Peter, the first Pope, and all of us, we see how we are saved by the extravagant, the lavish love of God. Without that, all of us deserve only punishment and death. No one can be holy thanks to God's mercy. So I am inviting all of you to look into your lives. See how weak sinful and broken we are yet every day every day there is a miracle of new life every day you do something good how come god's mercy gives us hope and the opportunity to live again last holy saturday I visited former teachers of mine who are now sick. One of them, when I entered his room, when he saw me, he started crying. Umiyak po siya, umiyak. And then the nurse told me, every time there is a visitor, he cries. Parang siguro na ano, parang yung na, na, nahahabag sa sarili, naawa sa sarili. Nung medyo nag, ano na siya, kalmado, I started talking with him and he said, Oh, Chito, Chito, you used to sleep in my class. I mean, and then he said, but look at you, you are now a cardinal. <laughs> and sabi ko, Father, I'm sorry if I caused you distress when, when you were my teacher. He said, no, 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 you did well. But that 
that kept my mind going. Yes, if I look at myself, I have nothing to boast of. Natutulog lang ako sa klase. Napapagalita ng teachers. Sabi nga ng teacher na yun, kasi there was a time when there were only two students, a classmate of mine and myself. After 30 minutes, I fall asleep. Sabi niya sa akin, you, Chito, you are very insensitive. You sleep in my class. And when you start sleeping, we do not know whether to continue or not. Because 50% of the class is gone. And then, eto ako, Cardinal. Only through the mercy of God. Kaya. Pero ayano, pinagkakatiwala ang tayo ng Diyos. Yung mga asawa nyo, yung mga anak nyo will never be worthy. Pero mahal kayo. Meron na ako na interview na ikakasal eh. Sabi ko, bakit? Bakit siya ang pinili mo? Sabi niya, hindi ko nga po alam eh. <laughs> hindi naman po gwapo. <laughs> hindi naman mataas ang pinag-aralan. Maliit ang kinikita. Pero ewan ko ba, Bakit mahal ko? Kaya sabi ko doon sa lalaki, Treasure your wife. She has no reason to marry you. <laughs> except for the fact, except for the fact that there is love which you do not deserve. Huwag kayong tumawa because lahat tayo ganyan. We don't deserve God's love. But when you look at where we are right now, why? We are all products of God's mercy. Thanks to God's mercy. And finally po, ay, in the first reading, one miracle of divine mercy is a community that has learned to become brothers and sisters to one another. Having experienced God's mercy towards them, now they become merciful to one another. They came together to pray to break bread, to listen to the teachings of the apostles, and they sold what they had and gave the proceeds to the needy. Divine mercy must be translated into acts of compassion, justice, caring, brotherhood, and sisterhood. No human society or community and no nation 
can be built on any other foundation except mercy, compassion, love. If we are merciful, we will not cheat. Sino ang nagdaraya yung walang hapag? At pagkatapos silang mandaya, magsasabi, maawa kayo sa akin. Bakit wala kang awa noon? If you are a recipient of God's mercy, show that mercy. Do not be unjust. Do not trample on the dignity of children, of women, of the poor. Respect your workers. Do not treat human beings as commodities that you can traffic and exchange for a sum of money. Society gets worse because of the lack of mercy. Wala na bang naaawa? Wala na bang nahahabag? Hingi tayo ng hingi ng awa sa Diyos. Please, maging maawain din. And I'm very, very happy that we have our brothers and sisters with disabilities. Pakibati naman sila. Ay hindi nila naririnig ang, ang clap. Ganyan, ganyan. Ayan. Ay, ayun. They're one with us. And how many of them still feel neglected in the margins? Divine Mercy Sunday is a day also to be transformed into merciful, just people and disciples. I will be merciful to you. I will end my homily. <laughs> Let us pause. Let us pause and open our hearts once again to the mercy of God that can save us, that could give us hope, and could make us agents of truth, justice, and compassion to the world.